Do you want to learn about your musical modes, but you're not sure where to start? Well, modes can be one of the most confusing topics for students. They have kind of funny names, and a lot of times students can't remember how to play certain modes or how to use them in their piano playing. And so in today's lesson, I'm going to explain modes to you in a very simple way. I'm going to show you a simple trick to help you remember each of your modes. I'm going to show you which chords each of your modes works on, plus common chord progressions that you can use your modes on. So if you've ever wanted to learn about modes, this is the lesson for you. And let's go ahead and dive. All right, so there are only seven modes at the piano. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each mode, explain what the mode is, the simple trick to remembering the notes, the chords that that mode works over, plus some common chord progressions that you can use with each mode. All right, our first mode is the Ionian mode. And guess what? It is simply the major scale. Okay, so if you take all the notes from your C major scale, that is the Ionian mode. It is basically the major scale starting on the first note of the major scale. So if you ever want to tell someone play the major scale, but you want to sound kind of fancy and like you know some cool musical terminology, you can say, well, play the C Ionian scale. It means the same thing as the C major scale. Now you can use the Ionian mode or the Ionian scale on any major chords. So let's say you had a C major chord, you can use the C major scale on this chord. Or if you had a C6, it's kind of a jazzier way of playing a C chord, you can use you know, the C Ionian mode or the C Ionian scale on this chord. C major seven or C major nine, these are kind of chords that we tend to use in jazz or C six nine, C major 13. These are basically all major chords. And so once again, if you're playing any sort of C major chord, you can use the C Ionian mode to improvise over those chords. Next, I'm going to show you some chord progressions. You can use this scale over, but before we do this, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. Now, what about chord progressions? Like, what's a chord progression you could play in your left hand and use the Ionian scale to improvise over in the right hand? And you can actually play any diatonic chords from the key of C in the left hand and improvise with the C scale in the right hand. So I could go C to G and then maybe A minor to F major, right? These are all chords that come from the key of C major. D minor, E minor, F major. These are all chords that we tend to use in pop music. And so you can take a simple chord progression. And you can use any of the notes from the Ionian scale. By the way, if you want to learn some really cool tricks for how to improvise a piano solo using your Ionian scale, check out our course, How to Improvise a Solo with the Major Scale. We have a beginner to intermediate level course and an intermediate to advanced level course where you'll learn some very cool tricks. So I'll put a link to those below. All right, the second mode I want to teach you is called the Lydian mode. And it is such a cool sounding mode. I call it the magic mode because it has such a cool magical sound. It's actually used in a lot of film scores. And so the Lydian mode is actually a lot like your C major scale, except you raise the fourth, or you take the F, one, two, three, four, and you raise it a half step. Okay, and so that's the trick to figuring out your Lydian scale in any key. Like let's say you wanted to figure out your Lydian scale starting on a D. Well, take the D major scale and raise the fourth note, the G, to a G sharp. And now you have the D Lydian scale. Does that make sense? Um, another really helpful way to think of the Lydian scale is that it's the fourth mode of your major scale. So if you took your C major scale and you started on the fourth note F and you played your C major scale starting on F, this is actually F Lydian, right? It's like an F major scale, but you're raising the fourth note. 
So that can be another little trick to helping you remember the Lydian mode is that it's the fourth mode of a major scale. But honestly, I think it's kind of a crutch to remember your modes in this way where you think, okay, it's the major scale, but it's starting on the fourth note. You're kind of adding extra steps to the process of memorization that you don't really need to do. So my recommendation once again is to memorize your modes by thinking of them as a major scale, except you're gonna alter one or more of the notes. In the case of Lydian, you're just raising the fourth note a half step. All right, so which chords does the Lydian scale work over? And just like your Ionian scale works over major chords, you can also use your Lydian scale over major chords as well, okay? So I'm playing a C major in my left hand. You could be playing a C6 or a C major seven or a C major nine or a C major six nine or a C major 13. Again, these are all chords that you might use in jazz. But one chord in particular that really works well if you're playing the Lydian scale is when you're playing like a D major in the right hand over a C major in your left hand, okay? This is called a polychord. It's when you have a chord in the right hand over a different chord in the left hand. Or if you were just playing a D major chord over C, this is a great chord where you might improvise over it using that C Lydian scale. In terms of a chord progression, the C Lydian scale will work very well if you had a chord progression that went from a C major to perhaps a D major, okay? So let's say the chord progression was going, right? You could use the C Lydian scale on these chords. By the way, if you want to learn some really cool tricks for how to improvise with the Lydian scale, check out our courses. We have the beginner to intermediate level course and the intermediate to advanced level course. So I'll put a link to those below. All right, the third mode I'm gonna teach you is what's called the Mixolydian mode. And what I love about this mode is it has such a bluesy sound. great. And so this mode is actually very simple. It's a lot like the C major scale, but you're going to alter one note. You're going to flat the seventh. So we're going to take that B and lower it a half step. And now we have this kind of bluesy sounding scale, which is our C Mixolydian scale. Now another trick to remembering your Mixolydian scale is that it's the fifth mode of your major scale. So if you took your C major scale and you started this scale on the fifth note on the G, so I'm playing a C major scale starting on G, well guess what? This is your G Mixolydian scale. It's like a G major scale, which would have an F sharp, except you're lowering the seventh. But again, I encourage you to memorize your Mixolydian scale by simply thinking of it as a major scale with a flat seven. Now this particular scale tends to work really well on dominant seven chords. So if you have a C7, this is a chord that we typically use in the blues or in jazz, this C Mixolydian scale is gonna work really well with it because it has the B flat. And so if you play any type of C7 chord, like if it's a C9, which is a chord we use in jazz or C13, or even if you do a sus chord, like a C7 sus4 or a C9 sus4, C13 sus4, these are all chords that you can use that Mixolydian scale on. By the way, I wanted to mention that the lesson sheet music you're seeing up here on the top left of your screen is downloadable and printable. You can also change the key of this entire lesson with the click of one button with our smart sheet music. So I'll put a link to all of that below. All right, so what chord progressions could you use your C Mixolydian scale over? Well, there are a lot of different chord progressions you can use, but there's one pop chord progression in particular. this scale works very well over. This is a simple chord progression that uses C major, B flat major, and F major, okay? And the way you know that this scale works on these chords is that all of the notes from these chords 
are used in the C mixolydian scale. So it doesn't matter what chord you're playing, going to sound great with this scale. Now if you want to do a deep dive on how to improvise a solo with this scale, check out our course, How to Improvise a Solo with the Mixolydian Scale. Again, we have the Beginner Intermediate Level course and the Intermediate Advanced Level course, so I'll put a link to those below. All right, the next mode I'm gonna teach you is called the Dorian mode, and this is such a cool sounding scale. I call it the minor mode because it is used in tons of different genres, and it just sounds great on almost any minor chord. Check out what this sounds like. Doesn't that sound beautiful? And it's used in jazz music, it's used in pop music, folk music, it doesn't really matter the genre. So the Dorian scale is a very simple scale. It's a lot like a major scale, except we're altering two notes. So we're gonna take that third and flat it, and we're gonna take the seventh and flat it. Okay, so the Dorian scale is a major scale with a flat three and a flat seven. Now I want to point your attention to the fact that the Mixolydian scale is a lot like the Dorian scale, except it has a major third. So the Dorian scale and the Mixolydian scale are very similar, except the Dorian scale has the flat third, while the Mixolydian scale has the natural third. Another way to remember the Dorian scale or the Dorian mode is that it's the second mode of the major scale. So again, if we go back to our C major scale, and we play a C major scale starting on D, which is the second note, we end up with the D Dorian scale or the D Dorian mode. It's a lot like a D major scale, except we are lowering the third and the seventh. Now the Dorian scale works on just about any minor chord. So if you're playing a C minor or a C minor seven or a C minor nine, C minor 11, C minor 13, these are all common minor chords that you might play if you're playing in a kind of jazzy style. Or if you were playing a C minor six, right? That's a chord, C minor six, nine. All of these chords work over the C Dorian scale. Right? because all of the notes in these chords are contained in the C Dorian scale. Now, if you wanna learn more about improvising with your Dorian scale, check out our course on how to improvise a piano solo with the Dorian scale. I'll put a link to those courses below. All right, the next mode I'm gonna teach you is what's called the Aeolian mode. And I call this the superhero mode because it's used in lots of superhero films, you know, films like Batman and Spider-Man. And it sounds like this. So for this mode, you're gonna start with the major scale and you're gonna alter three notes from this scale. So this one has a flat three, a flat six, and a flat seven. Okay, that is your C Aeolian scale. And another trick for remembering this scale is that it's the sixth mode of your major scale. So if you took your C major scale and you started on the sixth note of the scale, and we're gonna play the C major scale again, this is the A Aeolian scale. And once again, you can verify this by playing the A major scale and lowering your third, your six, and your seven. The Aeolian scale is also oftentimes called the natural minor scale, because if I play my C Aeolian scale, well, this is the natural minor scale related to the key of E flat major and there's your E flat major scale. Okay, so the natural minor scale is kind of like your major scale, but you go down three half steps, one, two, three, and then play the major scale on that note, which I said earlier is also the sixth note of the scale if you start from the bottom. So the Aeolian scale works on minor chords, like if you were playing a C minor, 
can use it on this chord or even a C minor seven or a C minor nine or a C minor 11. Basically all of these notes from all of these chords are contained in this scale. The only chords you really wanna avoid with this scale would be minor chords where you have the natural six, like a C minor six chord, you would not wanna use your C Aeolian scale on because this has an A flat in it and it's gonna clash with the A natural. All right, chord progressions that work with your Aeolian scale, very common one is C minor to F minor, okay? C minor to F minor, this is gonna sound great with your Aeolian scale. All right, your next mode is what's called the Phrygian mode. And I call this the Middle Eastern mode because it has a little note in the scale that really draws from Middle Eastern music. This is the sound of the Phrygian scale. So the way to remember your Phrygian scale is to start with your major scale and you're gonna alter four notes, okay? So this one has a flat two. This is that Middle Eastern note I was mentioning earlier. It has a flat third, a flat six, and a flat seven, okay? So the Phrygian scale is a major scale with flat two, flat three, flat six, and flat seven. You could also think of this mode as the third mode of your major scale. So if you took your C major scale and you played the same scale starting on the third note, so one, two, three, that's E, and we play the C major scale, this is actually your E Phrygian scale. And the way to verify this is to start with an E major scale. And let's go flat two, flat three, flat six, and flat seven. Now this scale does work on minor chords, so if you were playing a C minor, you could play the C Phrygian scale. That D flat can rub a little bit, but you definitely can use it. But where I would say this scale works particularly well on a chord is a certain type of polychord, where you play a D flat major over a C minor, okay? It's gonna rub a lot. Or if you just played a simple D flat over a bass note C, this is a great place to use your C Phrygian scale. Doesn't that sound great? Now for a chord progression, let's say you had a progression that went C minor, maybe to F minor, and then maybe down to D flat major, and then back down to C minor. These chords would sound great with the Phrygian scale. All right, your final mode is what's called the Locrian mode, and I call this the dark mode because it has the darkest sound of all the modes, and here's what it sounds like. For this mode, I would start with a major scale and you're going to lower five different notes from the major scale. So this one has a flat two, has a flat three, a flat five, flat six, and flat seven, okay? So the Locrian scale is a major scale with flat two, three, five, six, and seven. Another way to think of this scale is that it's the seventh mode of your major scale. So if we took a C major scale and we started the scale on the seventh note of the scale, the B, we have this really kind of funky looking scale. Well, guess what? This is the B Locrian scale. And the way to verify this is to first play the B major scale 
and then alter all of your notes. So flat two, flat three, flat five, flat six, and flat seven. Now this scale works really well on diminished chords. So if you have a C diminished chord, or a C half diminished seven, or even like a C minor 11, or this is a cool one, a C half diminished seven with an 11. So you can take that note, you can put it down here. It's kind of a crunchy, jazzy sound. You can use the C Locrian scale over all of these chords. And finally, here's a chord progression. You can use this over, let's say you had a C half diminished seven, going maybe to a D flat major, and then maybe you're going to an E flat minor. Well, guess what? All of these notes are used in the C Locrian scale. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the lesson, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 1,000 step-by-step lessons for all playing levels where you'll learn your favorite songs, styles, and how to improvise at the piano. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.